The most romantic thing I've ever done is just pay attention. Oh! Hey, I'm Katherine Newton. And I'm Cole Sprouse. And today, we're going to let Elle... Ask us anything. 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 Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, this is oh, vain for me. Whoa. Which of my roles is your favorite besides the creature? Wow, obviously, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I mean, like, I watched your show like it was water. Did you ever go to a live taping? No, not that weird. Yeah, we wouldn't have let you in. <laughs> no, but, but I really did love that show. Ooh. Who is the last person you were starstruck to meet? I've been starstruck twice. The first one was Clint Eastwood. This is the only time I've ever done this. When I saw him walking out of the Sunset Tower, I went, <gasps> No! I gasped and I pointed. Uh, he looked at me and he just went, Ugh. <laughs> Which I didn't realize at the time was actually exactly what I wanted. Like, you want the squint. Like, you want the sort of gruff, like, Clint. That was so good! It was, like, perfect for me. And I was buzzy about it afterwards. And then I followed John C. Riley into a bathroom once. And That's awesome, for him by the sinks Because I, uh, I really loved him. That's so sweet. Yeah. Next. Okay. What's your most embarrassing on-set mishap? I don't really have one top of mind. I know, I'm really uncool. Have I told you but I one of the final one. experiences on Riverdale? So we had a scene. I was supposed to bust down this door. And this is good. the special effects guy was like, hey, we only have three door frames. First time, busted through it. Dust went everywhere. So it was kind of unusable. Second time, hit the door. The door frame fell. Hit the camera on the crane, completely unusable. Third time he comes up to me, he's like, dude, <laughs> we only have one more take with this. So boom, knock open the door, hit the floor. I see a dead body of a milkman. This is Riverdale. And then I scramble backwards against the door frame and I'm, and I'm like, my elbows and my legs. Like back. Yeah, like, like, like back, like, like I'm leaning back against the door, out. like I'm startled. Oh my God, there's a dead milkman. They go, cut. And I'm like, damn, I nailed that. Look down, I had split my pants. My whole genitals were just hanging right in center frame. I mean, like, full on, <gasps> dude. I look down, I go, Woo! Are my, are my balls out? It was one of the funniest events yeah. in all seven years of that show, and it happened right towards the end. I don't think anyone can ever top that story. Okay, next. What's the best advice you've gotten from another actor? I was going through a weird thing publicly. I was complicating it. I was, I was whinging about it. I was complaining about this circumstance. Uh. A person I'm very, very close to, who's an older actor, just looked at me and said, it's just your turn, man. And it was so simple. And it passes. And it passes. And he goes, next week it's gonna be something else. Isn't and sure funny? enough, next week it was. It was. Yeah, it was. What's the role you auditioned for that you wish you landed? There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> we could be here all day. I wish that I was Baby June and Gypsy. I still want to be Baby June on Broadway. But basically anything you've seen with somebody my age, yeah, I went out for that. One time I had the job, like it was my job, and there was a backdrop like this, and I was doing a chemistry test for the guy. And we were supposed to kiss, and it was so bad that I freaked out and touched the backdrop and it came falling down in the background. Ooh, that... And I lost the job. <laughs> <laughs> they took it away. What is the most absurd storyline in Riverdale. We waterboarded someone with maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty insane. I think eventually Has anybody tried the writers that? reached a point where they were like, how are we gonna jump the shark this episode? I wish everyone would have seen the table reads because all of us were laughing, laughing so hard in every table read. But then you gotta get on set and you gotta take it super, super serious. Who's the next Marvel character you'd like to play? I'm already one of them. Yeah, what about an ant? I am ant girl, that's kind of the thing. So. Can you like become an ant? Yes. No. You know, they asked me to play ant girl. Yeah, they said you were busy. So I'm really mind. happy that you passed so I could do it. I didn't pass. I lost it to you. <laughs> <laughs> you said you had a crush on Jennifer Aniston when you were on Friends. Uh -huh. Which other co-stars did you have a crush on? I dated a co-star for like three years. Yeah, so you um, heard, yeah. yeah. I don't really, yeah, I don't really do that too often. But Jenny, Jenny, <laughs> I call her Jenny. I, I was truly, I was petrified. Oh my god! I was petrified of her. I, I lost all my ability to say my lines. That's so cool. That's never Didn't happened to Didn't feel cool me. to me at the time. <laughs> Felt horrifying. <laughs> What's the cringiest thing you've ever done for a crush? 
Oh, God. Come on, you have to have a couple. In um, high school, it was the girls ask guys dance, you know, the winter formal is. I don't, I was homeschooled. Right, well, mm. girls ask guys. <laughs> so I wrote my essay and I asked him to proofread it before class. And he was like, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah, just read it, read it. And I wrote like, the first sentence was, will you go to formal with me? I'm like gonna be sick thinking about it. And he was like, okay. And then he called me that night and was like, I can't go out with you because when I'm next to you, you make me break out in hives. <laughs> He was just trying to get out of it. I love that. Oh man. What is the most romantic thing you've ever done for someone? I've been trying to get him to tell me this for days now on this press tour, like trick him into talking about. The most romantic thing I've ever done is just pay attention. Ooh, ladies. Yeah. Cole Sprouse. <laughs> what was the most surprising part of filming with Post Malone? Oh, Posty. You filmed with Post Malone? Yeah, on so what? he DM'd me on Twitter and was like, I was on a plane and I was I watched Blockers like seven times. Yeah, my manager was like, I think Post wants you to be in his music video. And I was like, yes. I was on Twitter. He came out with this song called Zack and Codeine. No, it was and Zach and It was Co clearly a play oh off Zack and Cody. So I reached out to him on Twitter I and I said, hey dude, wouldn't it be funny if we did a video where I was in all of your tattoos yeah. and uh, never got a message back. That would have been a really good idea. He's still one of my favorite artists ever. I hope one day I'll say hi to him and be like, I was in your video, do you remember? And hopefully he remembers. What's the last show you binge watched? The Bear. The Bear. God, he's good. Yeah. The whole cast is good. Yeah? I love that show. I just watched Fargo, the last season with Juno Temple. I haven't seen any of Fargo. The last season was so good. Juno mm. Temple is so funny. You've worked with some pretty big names like Vince Vaughn, Leslie Mann, Paul Rudd, and Reese Witherspoon. Which A-lister were you most nervous to work with? Ooh, you probably. I was definitely Don't worried. Don't ever forget it. To work, I was worried to work with you. Probably was worried to work with you because I wanted you to like think I'm cool. They, they I don't know. If they're gonna think I'm cool. No, you're really cool. <laughs> you know, and like they're adults. Like I just wanted to like be friends and like be cool. But you and I already were friends. Doesn't matter. You still want to be cool. <laughs> yeah. Friend. Still wanted to be cool. Which celebrity has been your favorite to photograph? Which celebrity? I, I mean. Anybody in the room? I think either you or Charles. When you and I shot, it had such a direct lineage to what we're doing now. It did end up kind of influencing. The, the tone you and I personally took outside of Diablo, outside of Zelda, to what we did. And then Charles, because I'd always wanted to shoot Charles with a bunch of dogs. You love dogs. He loves dogs. I love dogs. You love dogs. We're I just dog think people. it's fun. Which celebs do you think have the best fashion? I think Cole Sprouse has the best fashion. I do actually really appreciate your fashion because I feel like you look like yourself, which is mm -hmm. very hard to do. Mm -hmm. um, I do look like one other person. You're, there's Identical a person twin. in the world. Yeah. Yeah. I really like Billie Eilish's fashion because mm. I also think she always looks like herself. I think that's what I am into when you don't feel like someone's just wearing an outfit, you feel like it's just who they are. Which Gen Z fashion trend do you love? I don't know those. What's a Gen Z fashion trend? Maybe like... Yeah, what's some Gen Z fashion trend? I think you like Gen Z fashion trends. I was gonna say like, like a chain. You love a chain. I never, when have you ever <laughs> seen me in a, in a chain? <laughs> he wears a chain, I've seen it. I saw it no, <laughs> with the tank top look and the blazer and like a little chain. Oh, a little chain. Yeah, see? A little chain. Oh, of course. We're moving on. What's the best <laughs> gift you've ever received from a co-star? Cole gave me a t-shirt that said, America's it girl, <laughs> Catherine Newton. And it's hilarious. I have never worn it, but I still, it's still the best, it's still the best rap gift I ever got. But yeah, you kept calling me America's it girl. America's it girl. It was great. I'll take it. Um, what was the best one you've ever gotten? I mean, KJ gave me some really incredible records, actually. That's nice. Which was really sweet. Yeah, KJ's a great gift giver, actually, now that I think about it. All right, KJ. Okay. It's, I gave you a lot of things, but. What's your go-to cry in the car song? Why is that my question? Because you're a little cry, baby. I don't cry in the car. <laughs> I cry in the movies a lot. Oh, airplanes I, for me. The airplane movies really get me. I think the hardest I've ever cried on a plane was, uh, two glasses of red wine and about 45 minutes into Coco, <laughs> the movie. I think that's relatable. I watched Top Gun over somebody's shoulder. 
And that I love cry. doing that on planes. Well, I'm just really interested in what other people are watching. I had a guy catch me once and he turned the subtitles on. He was very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was it. That was it. This was Elle's Ask Us Anything. Catch Lisa Frankenstein in theaters.